Good day, sir. We are the group 4 and we are about to report the chapter 5, Misunderstanding the Self. Adolescence is a period of self-discovery in which adolescents learn from their mistakes and redirect self-perspectives. A famous Victor Ramey, in his book, Misunderstanding of the Self, explained that if relevant misconceptions can be modified or eliminated, improve adjustment results. Misconceptions of the self due to lack of knowledge that resulted to poor views and insights. Misconception means a wrong idea while understanding someone or something. The idea on misconception indeed can direct us into bigger discussion on expenses. For instance, Higgins proposed that different types of self-discrepancies represent different types. Self constitute each type of self state representation. It of negative psychological situations that are associated with different kinds of discomfort. Discrepancies between the actual own self state and idea, ideal self states represents an individual's beliefs about his or her own or significant other hopes, wishes, or aspirations for the signify the absence of positive outcomes, which is associated with dejection-related emotions, disappointment, dissatisf dissatisfaction, sadness. In contrast, discrepancies between the actual own self-state or self-states of an individual beliefs about his or her own differences in both the relative magnitude and the accessibility of individuals Available types of self-discrepancies are predicted to be related to differences in kinds of discomfort people are likely to experience. Open self. This is the information about yourself that you and others know. Blind self. This is the information you don't know but others know about you. Hidden self. Information you know about yourself but others don't. And the unknown self, this is the information that is about yourself that neither you or others know. The four areas of the self with others. The open area is your personality known to you as well as to others. It is an open area where you publicly share what you have like your competencies, abilities, skills, and talent. The blind area is part of your personality which is known to others but not known to you. You blankly identify yourself who is not good in singing, but when you tried singing, everyone is amazed to such extraordinary redemption of your voice. The hidden area is part of your personality known to you but not known to others, or it is otherwise known as facade. You seem to keep your potential as concealed self to public. The unknown area. Is your personality not, not known to you and not known to others? It could be the dark side of your personality that you are afraid to reveal so that others would not know and neither aware of. In Coolis Looking Glass Self and the Shaping of Our Self-Image Coolis the Looking Glass self and the shaping of our image, one may suspect that people around contribute a feeling of mis uneasiness and anxiety. In Cooley's looking glass self and the shaping of our self image, he argues that negative self assessment can lead to negative dispositions that one may fail to healthy exercise to or perform productive activities. How we see ourselves is how we believe others perceive us. For instance, one may have an unmotivated self to join a competition, but friends around yelled for a go and maybe said, You can do it! You can do it! Around to a second 2013. To quote, a person's self grows out of person's social interactions. When people feed us content, little by little, we project a beautiful and wonderful person beginning to come out in us in that inspire. Sometimes this becomes the basis of our image, self-image and help us become the person we always wanted to be.
The looking glass really mirrors and is reflective of our self images. Kulis Kulay 1902 stressed that it has three methods like our appearance to another, to another person. Our imagination of others' impressions and how others evaluate and assess us. And lastly, the assumption of how others feel toward us. The foundation of self-image. How can we know who we really are? I say Ken argues that the real social world as we perceive it is often not only wrong but may even serve as an illusion. Isaac Sen 2013 All people all people want to be like and be appreciated for talents. But if we have us we have a weak self image, we can ep end up living our lives in accordance with other people's expectations. This is quite a distressing thought because it implies that others opinion of you can run your life or ruin your life. Isaac Sen we should develop a self-image that is more based on our own evaluation rather than how we believe others look at us. We are not consciously aware that we often try to conform the, to the image of other people of other people expect from us. Isaac Sen 2013 was right that one should develop an image based from what you think you need to become. Better change if it is a need better not if you are already well shaped and fine. This interesting theory is more of a socio-psychological perspective where we live in accordance into how others see us. Number 1. Mistaken Ideas It was proposed by Paul Charles Dubois 90, in 1948 to 1919. A Swiss physician and a professor of neuropathology at the University of Beer. Psychotherapy was developed in the 19th century by Paul Charles Dubois in 1948 to 1919. To help patients overcome their neurotic tendencies, his, uh, his approach called persuasion was based on cognitive psychology which saw incorrect ideas as a source of psychological symptoms. Number 2. Mistaken Opinions These ideas was, was coined by Alfred Adler. Individual Psychology of Alfred Adler, The Theory of Mistaken Opinions, Remy, 1975, p. 123. Although his own writings are largely discursive, his lack of systematization, systematization of his views is compensated for by the work of Heinz and Rowena Ansbacher, 1956 who have edited Adler's book and papers. Adler's view of the lifestyle is that it is a complex psychological system which all individuals, normal and abnormal, construct from their interaction with others. The self-concept is the individual's subjective belief about himself. It is not necessarily based upon misconceptions, but by examining it, one can frequently detect the mistakes from which the person suffers. Number 3. Inadequate Differentiations Human motivation according to Snig and Combs is guided by the basic need to maintain and enhance the self as perceived. Each of the multiple motives of human beings is aimed at making the self more adequate to cope with life. For Combs and Snig, the self is an object in the individual's perceptual field. This Phenomenal self that includes everything that the person experiences as me. 4. Irrational ideas. Albert Ellis, who was originally trained in and practiced Hornian psychoanalysis, for Ellis, man is both a rational and an irrational being whose psychological disturbances are the product of his irrational and a logical thinking. Two, three, start. Elise insists that negative effect, as he labels anxiety and hostility, can be largely controlled and transformed into normal effect as patients learn to correct their thinking. Effective plan to change a habit. 
Charles Duhigg's book entitled The Power Habit introduced that MIT researchers found out a neurological loop in the context of each habit that is comprised of three elements. A. A cue which recruit. B. A routine which is a hint. A reward and incentive. Charles Duhigg quote, change might not be fast and it, it's not always easy but with time and efforts almost any habit can be reshaped. He added, to understand your own habit, you need to identify the components of your loops. Once you have diagnosed the habit loop of a particular behavior, you can look for ways for to supplant old vice, vice with new routines. Secrets of Changing a Habit Charles Duhigg's in his article How Habits Work to quote once you have figured out your habit loop you have identified the reward driving your behavior the cue triggered it the routine itself you can begin to shift the behavior a habit is a formula our brain automatically follows when I see Q, I will do routine in order in order to get a reward. So that is all about our report, sir. The chapter five, five. misunderstanding the cell. Two, three, start. Elements. <laughs> Three. Action. A. A cue, which recruit. B. A routine, which is a hand. A reward. Uh, an unincentive. What are you doing? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it.